Right now in the market, there is a huge array of home security services, but there's a new one coming on the market called Cocoon. And the idea behind Cocoon is it isn't just a camera that's connected to an app. It's also using something called infrasound. Now, Peter Marks, you're an app developer. Tell me exactly what is infrasound and does it really work or is it a bit of a crock? Well, they define it as uh, audio below 20 hertz. So it's the kind of thing that you would have used to monitor earthquakes or, uh, you know, thumping on the ground. So I think their idea is that they're listening to the house and learning about the normal sorts of sounds, low frequency sounds, in particular that occur in your house when you're clomping around in different rooms. So that's the idea is it can go through mm. the whole house instead of just being what it can hear in the one room. And they show a dog. I mean, this is a big problem for burglary systems is your pets because they'll trigger the alarm system. So apparently it learns that. So it's not just infrasound. It has this low frequency thing. It's also got audio. It's got a high definition camera. It's got motion sensors. So it's got a whole range of things. In theory, because these infrasonic sound waves are longer in wavelength, they can actually move through walls. In in this is the, the actual is sound waves. This, this is, is actual science. This is science. Now, whether this device can detect those, whether it can learn to a great enough degree the difference between uh, somebody walking or a car outside or whether it can, in fact, learn what's normal traffic in your area, um, that is a bigger question. But the idea of listening to sound waves outside of one room is possible. The idea that it learns what's normal is, is a nice idea. And I think that you could see that working. So the idea is that, uh, yeah, if your dog comes through, your pet comes through, and that's okay. And, and this is not just uh, with the sound, but also the video. Now, there are already cameras, and I've got one myself, which is a, a web camera you can set up to look at a part of the house. And then on the, uh, the web, you can actually mark out a region of the frame and say, if there is motion in this area of the frame, then take some video and send it to my phone. So you could set it up as a sort of an intrusion detection. And these systems are like they cost $20 or something. So maybe this is one that just does that more automatically. The psychology of it is quite interesting, is that it will text its the, the homeowner to say, we think we've something weird is going on in this house. Have a look at what we found. And then it, it gives them the footage of whatever it is. And you can go, oh, no, that was just my dog. I guess your machine learning didn't work so well. That's fine. Um, and then in the video, at least, who knows what the end product will look like. It even says something like, your house is secure. Good night. I mean, <laughs> Which is the most creepy thing a machine can ever tell you. Absolutely. I mean, this fear that we have of burglary and this need to be protecting everything we own. Obviously, burglary, it's a very traumatic experience. We, we would prefer if that didn't happen. But these sorts of technologies definitely give this air of mine, 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 I have to protect it all, I have to know it's protected all the time and I'm getting text messages from my phone to say that my house is okay. Breeding par a little bit of paranoia? Absolutely. Under the guise of peace of mind. And, of course, when the message comes in, you'll see a message from your security system. Your first thought is going to be, oh, no, something is going on. But, of course, it'll say everything's okay. So I'm sure you'll turn that off pretty quickly. Also, I think it's interesting that uh, The Guardian reported on Cocoon, but not to say necessarily that this was a good or bad system, but more on how to create a success successful Indiegogo campaign, which indeed this was. And Cocoon estimated in order to get the, I think it was $100,000 that they were looking for, they ended up getting well above that. They needed a mailing list of 1,800 people um, and they needed to be sort of running these tests about what was the best video, what was the best ads that they should be running around that time. They cost, uh, they would run these tests, which cost around twenty pounds each, and they would be doing heaps of them in order to test how are we going to really pull this market in. And I think the success of this campaign really shows how much of a force these Kickstarter and Indiegogo campaigns have become. It's all about making the video, making the social media campaign, and then having a product that who knows what the hell's going to come out of it in the end. And so if this whatever, seeing through walls, infrasonic sound waves and levitating speakers and talking robots ever fulfill the promises that we've hoped, I will eat my hat. <laughs> Time will tell, and hopefully you have a tasty hat, just in case. <laughs> All right, there's a whole show where we discuss this and a lot more. Just head over to the RN website, and of course, leave your comments below. Do you think this is something you'd like to buy? Let us know. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the RN YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. <laughs>